How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slam Cam. Today we're looking at some strange videos that almost defy logical explanation. So strap yourself in, hit that subscribe button and get ready for more mysterious content. Just like this. This clip posted to Reddit by equivalent comment 120 seems to show some eerie activity. The video was recorded by the Redditor's cousin who does overnight cleaning at various businesses in Wyaton, Ontario. When he took this job, he never expected he'd be using his phone to record some scary clips. However, a grocery store that he cleans seems to have a ghost with a bizarre routine. Every night at exactly 1.15am, strange things start happening in the frozen food section of this store. The paranormal happenings begin when the hanging sign labelling the dessert section begins to slowly swing back and forth. The video clearly shows that there's no one near enough to move the sign. Moments later, the door to the freezer case just below the sign inexplicably swings open on its own. The fact that this alleged spirit is able to open the door to the freezer case suggests it could be a poltergeist, a specific type of ghost powerful enough to interact with physical objects. What do you think's going on in this video? Is there a piece of string we can't quite see that's manipulating the doorway? Or is this the real deal? Love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Hey peeps, just a quick interlude to let you know today's episode is brought to you by Raycon and their Everyday E25 Earbud. I've been using the Everyday E25 Earbuds for a while now and their performance is rock solid. I use them all the time working from home, they're also awesome for music and podcasts during workouts. They have a huge 6 hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing and the sound is incredible. I wear them when I'm researching videos for this channel. You can hear every last little eerie creak and whisper. Raycons make an awesome holiday gift too, and now's the perfect time to order. So these bad boys are about half the price of other premium earbud brands that are on the market, and they sound just as good, if not better. And now's the perfect time to grab yourself some Raycons, but hurry, this is a strictly limited offer. So head to buyraycon.com forward slash slapped ham Grab yourself 20% off. There's a link in the description box below. Check it out. When Redditor Londo Lance set up a CCTV security camera outside their house, they weren't really expecting to capture any paranormal activity. When something strange popped up in the footage late one night, they were at a loss to explain it. The video clip shows a deck in the backyard of the house and was filmed sometime between 2 and 4 in the morning. The camera only switches on when it detects motion. After a few seconds, it becomes clear what triggered the camera, a strange figure lurking on the deck. Because of its distance from the camera, it's hard to make out exactly what the figure looks like. Some viewers have suggested a small girl in a fairy dress floating above the ground, or perhaps an arm holding some sort of bag. Whatever the entity is, it only lingers for a few seconds before hastily moving into the house. According to the Redditor, the spot where the figure disappears is a sliding glass door leading to the kitchen. They insist that the doors never left open at night, so for the figure to move the way it does, it would have to have moved straight through a glass door. Some viewers have suggested that it could just be a glitch in the video, but others believe that the clip clearly depicts some sort of strange entity. Unless the figure returns to provide more video evidence, details about this bizarre paranormal activity remain a mystery. When TikToker Cybermoves underscore dot O2 created a dance video to share with his followers, he never expected to end up with a scary video clip that may show some paranormal activity. The video begins as many TikToks do with a dance. 
two young men walk into the view of the camera as the music begins and quickly start performing their dance. They bust out their moves, not even noticing when someone walks past in the background. At first glance, the intruder doesn't seem to be out of the ordinary. However, if you look more closely, there's definitely something strange going on. If you slow it down, the stranger who walks past in the background of the video appears to have no head. Some viewers believe that the figure in the background was just an ordinary person and that a glitch in the video made him look headless. However, nothing else in the clip is off. At the same moment that the headless man walks by, the two dancers and their surroundings are in perfect focus. This would suggest that perhaps it's not been edited. So who is this strange headless figure then? For now, his identity remains a mystery. Redditor Dope Island Skate seems to be living in a haunted house. In a series of scary clips, he records several incidents that seem to suggest that something paranormal is going on in his home. The first clip was recorded on a CCTV home security system. The footage shows a view of the living room and a part of the kitchen. We see the Redditor and his dogs walking around the room going about their daily business. At one point, the dogs seem to hear something strange cocking their heads and sharing an odd look. Moments later, a plastic bottle falls from the kitchen table. There was no one close enough to the table to knock it off. Some viewers have suggested that the bottle was pulled off with a piece of string, but if there had been wire or string attached to the bottle, the dogs would have almost certainly have gotten caught up in it as they moved about the room. The second clip takes place in a laundry when our Redditor started hearing some strange noises. He took out his phone and began recording, hoping to capture a glimpse of whatever caused the strange noise. As he records, the sliding door leading to the laundry slowly begins to open. When the door's entirely open, he goes into the laundry to investigate, finding nothing to explain the strange event. It seems that this house may be the haunting grounds of a poltergeist. So far, the poltergeist activity has been minimal, but not terribly violent. However, this Redditor would be wise to avoid angering his resident spirit. Redditor Whip Sturk is a believer in the supernatural, even if his co-worker isn't. In this bizarre clip, he records some subtly strange activity that seems to defy explanation. This strange footage was recorded on a cell phone camera in the parking lot of a former abortion clinic. It's unclear from the footage if the building is currently in use. The property is enclosed by a tall wrought iron fence. It appears that the gate is sometimes locked, but in this video, the lock and gate are hanging open. It's the lock that becomes the focus of this video. As the Redditor records, we see the lock moving around all on its own. According to the Redditor, this happens regularly. He claims that on other occasions, the lock's movements were even wilder and more erratic than what we see here in this footage. It, it have a long time ago. While it's possible a lock could jingle about a little bit on its own, what's really eerie is that it moves for more than a minute straight without any interference. seen it swing wilder than that. The naysayer who accompanies him as he captures this footage suggests that the wind may be blowing the lock around. He turns the camera to the trees showing there's no wind blowing the branches. I'm looking at the branches. There's nothing, there's nothing blowing. 
He also asserts that a metal lock would be too heavy to be moved by a gentle breeze. He also waves his hand around the lock to show there's no strings or wires attached to it that could be responsible for the movements. The Redditor doesn't provide any additional information about the history of the property, so it's hard to determine what could be causing this strange activity. Knowing that it used to house a medical facility, it's possible that someone tragically lost their life here and hung around even after death. Before we take a look at an eerie, allegedly haunted location in Eastern Australia, remember to hit that subscribe button and tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary videos. Also, remember to roundhouse kick that thumbs up button right in the guts. YouTubers ETFW regularly visit allegedly haunted locations. In this episode of their YouTube series, they visit a supposedly haunted presbytery in the Blue Mountains in Eastern Australia. The stories about the location claim that the place is haunted by a spirit of a priest who used to reside there. The YouTubers decide to spend the night at the property, bringing along a Ouija board to attempt to communicate with the spirits haunting the location. Definitely. We don't know what to expect tonight. I mean, obviously, like we said, we haven't investigated this place yet, so it'll be curious to see what we get after the series of events that happened. They also set up cameras to hopefully capture some paranormal happenings. At the very beginning of their Ouija session, their EMF detector begins making terrifying noises. Ouija, Ouija, Ouija. You like to play? If there are any spirits here with us, are you able to move the plane chair? Yeah. Twice, a voice on the EMF cries out the word scream. Sounds like the same demon. Do you, do you hear that? Like twice she did the same scream. Other words come through such as knock and stop. cameras set up in the ghost hunters' rooms provide even more evidence that this location could very well be haunted. At 2.15am, one of the ghost hunters gets out of bed to use the bathroom. A hallway camera shows that after he passes through a doorway at the end of the hall, the door begins to slowly close behind him. There's no one in the hallway that could have closed it, yet, clear as day, the door closes all on its own. One hour later, this same doorway again shows some activity. There's a washer and dryer just on the other side of the door. Inexplicably, a porcelain teacup that's been left on the counter falls to the ground all on its own. The hallway is entirely empty when this occurs. The sound awakens the ghost hunters who get out of bed to investigate. They discover the fallen carp and also realise that the front door is wide open. Neither of them recall opening the door. They theorise that a draught of wind might have been able to cause these bizarre paranormal events, but they can't be sure that they weren't the work of a ghost. Yo. So what do you think these two ghost hunters have caught on camera? Is it just a gust of wind or is it the old priest that might still linger here long after death? Now, if you want to see some more scary videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist right here. Now, remember to follow us on Twitter for daily paranormal memes. There's a link in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.